Hey, Mike here. This is just a quick little how to in uh, terms of how to start mining your own cryptocurrency and getting paid in Bitcoin. Obviously, this will not make sense unless you are willing to invest a lot of money into it. But still, if you had recently got a, you know, brand new or up to date computer with the latest gaming graphics cards and you want to just kind of figure out whether or not it's going to be worth it for you. I have another video about that, but this is just how to get started just within a few clicks. All right, I have a link here on the screen. Uh, the one that I recommend is by this company called NiceHash, and they give you easy to run mining software that will run on Windows computers. So when you get here, uh, I suggest you create an account and secure it, particularly if you don't have a wallet to uh, put your payments in, you're gonna be required to do that. Now you can create one here with NiceHash as well, and, uh, you know, it's a pretty s straightforward process. I recommend using Coinbase, but I am trying out NiceHash as well to see what they have going on in terms of a wallet and purchasing cryptocurrency. So uh, it, after you click Try Mining Now on the main screen, you'll get a chance to see this video on how to start mining with it. It's very straightforward. Um, once you create an account, though, and I'll just show you my screen over here. This is a video that's going to be released relatively soon about using the ASUS G14 with a uh, Ryzen 9 processor, mobile uh, processor that is just as fast as a desktop, but with a 2060 Max-Q graphics card. Now, um, I'll have the economics on that separate video, but this is just what's going on right now. I've had it mining for a little bit, and at the current mining profitability is only $2.67 a day, which is nothing. But you minus about $0.65, cents a um, 65 cents for electricity a day roughly over here and you're only making about a two dollar profit with an asus g14 all right so that translates to just about less than a thousand dollars sometimes i'll see this go as high as four dollars and it really just depends sometimes it's your luck in terms of mining um, other times it's because bitcoin prices have gone up quite a bit all right once you create your account you go ahead and click on to mining and you want to download the miner. All right. Now the one you're going to choose, of course, obviously is if you are a windows based computer, let's say it's that new gaming laptop, click on that. And then here's some important information. Okay. Before downloading, there's two methods. One is most of you guys have windows defender and you can either make an exclusion on uh, to, because what happens when you download and run this, is the software needs to take control of your system in order to maximize the amount of control that it has over your processing power. All right, so it's going to detect it as a type of virus. Don't worry, it isn't. So far, I've used nice hash uh, many years ago, and they're still around, and they're pretty legit. All right, nothing really bad has happened with them yet, so that that's the reason why I recommend nice hash here. And the other option, method two, is to just restore the false positive files. There's a little how-to video on that. This is all has to do with Windows Defender. But what you can do is it really depends on your antivirus software. You basically make an exclusion for the nice hash when it pops up and you restore the files. That's what it comes down to. All right, so they just give you this disclaimer because most people have Windows Defender. They don't pay for additional antivirus. And I do recommend that you pay for additional antivirus but in this example, we're also using, I believe, Windows Defender or Trend Security. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And basically download the installer right here. So today is February 10th, 2021. I'm going to run that. I'm going to agree it's going to do an installation. Now, before you run this, you need to make sure that you are logged in as an administrator. Okay, otherwise it's going to give you a little error and you're not going to make as much money from your processing because it's not able to unlock all the cores. Okay, so you basically gotta accept everything and you'll wanna scan this with the mobile application to link it to your wallet. And that is obviously advised because you want all the money to get paid to the account that you created. Okay, so they make this really easy if you are using uh, their own wallet system or if you know what your wallet is, Okay, if you know what your wallet is, you can go ahead and put that information in there already. Now, if you don't know, of course, you create the wallet, 
log in, secure your account, and uh, then proceed from there. This is after it's installed. All you got to do is click on start mining, see what's going on. Unfortunately, some of the areas that some people mess up on are that you have to start it as administrator. So I'm going to demonstrate what kind of errors you get if you don't start it as the administrator. Now, this is straight after you install. What it's going to do is it's going to bookmark your system to see what it's capable of to give you an idea of how many Bitcoin, micro Bitcoin, MBTC per day that you'll be making. And it's going to be in US dollars. Currently today, February 10th, 2021, when Bitcoin is at $44,825.62, according to NiceHash and the latest updates. But really, this is the more accurate number of, of how much... Uh, Let's say how much approximately your system can make based on the processing power that it's benchmarking at this point in time. Now, I've noticed that the benchmark primarily operates from your graphics card. So it's going to need as much power going to the processor uh, of the GPU as possible to process these and so what's that's great because when i was doing it on the uh, asus g14 if i'm just doing regular browsing or office work which does not need the gpu i can comfortably do my work let's say if i'm a student and i got this gaming laptop want to make a little bit, bit extra money on the side uh, electricity is already fully paid for and I'm just doing some Word document stuff, surfing the web, getting or doing some research. It's not going to affect anything. I can probably even just stream videos on the side and still have it run. Here's the thing, though. As with most gaming laptops, they're going to have a lot of thermal cooling. So if you can hear in the background a little bit, my fan is ramping up. So that's getting kind of loud. So it might make sense for you to uh, or anybody else in the room to go ahead and put on noise cancellation headsets or figure out a better way, a method of cooling down your computer as it is mining. So keep that in mind. All right, so it's still benchmarking. It might not work completely um, because, again, the issue with uh, not running as administrator. But let's see what kind of errors that we get. And uh, it's definitely taking a little bit longer than I was expecting to benchmark. But again, it could be that I was not running this as administrator by default, when you have an application that runs like this, it doesn't give it administrative privileges, which basically gives it full control of your computer system because that is typically a very bad idea for uh, just for any computer user, really. So I'm going to go ahead and let it continue benchmarking, and I'll continue. All right, so I let it run for a little bit. This popped up. Basically, Windows Defender Firewall is blocking some of the things. You're going to want to allow access to both private and public networks. Even though it says not recommended, keep in mind, I am mining this in my house, okay, off of my network. You'll definitely need your uh, your own internet and a solid, stable internet, solid power, and you're going to need to be able to keep the processors cool and running. And that's generally what you need to go ahead and start uh, mining however much that you might make. Now, after you do some calculations, you might figure out, hey, this is totally not worth it. And it's not worth the risk. And the risk here is a lot of times is damaging your computer system. It might not be worth it. So you want to keep an eye on those temperatures and install a temperature monitor. And if you don't have full on control of your fans, you'll probably want to do that and make sure that you maximize the cooling capacity while this is running. And obviously, if you're in a really hot environment, you don't have AC on there, uh, you, there is a very good chance that you can overheat and kill your laptop. Maybe not immediately, but over time, these cracks in the welds and the solder and everything can happen if you overheat it. 
Of course, the same thing can be said of any gaming where you are just completely stressing the computer system too. So make sure your laptop or computer is in pretty tip-top running condition. You know, dust out all the vents. Make sure there's nothing clogging the air holes and the vents and the fans. Uh, you'll just want to keep an eye on all that as, as you move along. The good news is that with this nice hash miner, after it's installed and connected to the servers, you can actually check on the stats remotely. That's one of the main benefits. You log back in and you can go ahead and check the status of uh, whatever it is that you have going on mining. Under miners, you can see, hey, how many rigs do you have mining right now? I have one of two because this is the one that is not up to date yet. Look at the highest temperature is 90 degrees Celsius. I'm going to have to keep this thing a little bit cooler because that is too hot, in my opinion, for this computer system. All right, now, looks like we've got something rolling here. We're going to get we're going to get to see roughly what we're going to get soon. Uh, it's, it has started. The device's login has been successful on here. You'll see another terminal window come up, one for each thing, one for the CPU, another one for the GPU. And if you see some sort of red error, then you'll know that the problem is that there needs to be something resolved. So take a look at what's going on here. So you see that? Here's the problem. The system's getting too hot. So I'm going to have to figure this out and cool it down. Now, if you have everything running correctly, this is what it looks like, and this is how it remains running. As you can see here, I have two GPUs running and one CPU. This tells me approximately how much money I am making just by leaving this computer running exactly the way it is right now. So it's at running at a rate of 0 0.05586 micro Bitcoin per day. And that is roughly $2.47 using the current conversion rate of $44,302.10 US dollars. Every few hours, there is going to be an unpaid balance here, which gets sent directly to my Bitcoin wallet, which is whatever that code that I had put in there when I started. You can also manage all that information from your central nicehash.com login. Okay, so that's pretty simple to go ahead and do there and manage. Uh, and then over here, there's other things that you can play around with, but I haven't done. So you can also mine other items and other things in here. There's different different sources. There's different uh, there's different mining pools and groups. I believe you can also join from the different plugins, and you can also configure what it is that you are uh, running from your system so you don't have to necessarily run if you don't want your uh your cpu to be running at all for any mining you want zero load on here you can turn that off you can also stop it you know you can start it you can you can pause it etc so if you need to get working on your computer right away you can pause all these and you can stop it and you can resume uh, as necessary it's very flexible that way uh, so this is those are some of the reasons why uh, i like and recommend using nice hash and and it's just been working out pretty well. Now, nice hash takes a bit of a cut for everything you mine. I mean, that's how they make money too. In addition to providing and selling uh, options for you to go ahead and trade your cryptocurrency. All right, online on their portal. I believe it's 2%. So keep that in mind. Uh, you can try to mine it yourself, join your own mining pools, and you could potentially, uh, there are some other pros and cons of, of, mining yourself or working with different groups but this is a nice simple casual way to get into it uh, without having to invest too much just a couple of minutes go ahead and put all this stuff in here and yeah that's why i recommend it all right that's it for this video if you want are curious about how much you can make uh, go ahead and try this out and you can see and do some calculations and then f try to figure out exactly how much that you might make if you use your computer, uh, if you have your computer, go ahead and mine while you are not using it. All right. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe for more, comment down below if you like this type of video and if you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching.